in the annals of sentient evolution is Silicon Valley, humble birthplace of the current microcomputer craze. A valley to be remembered and revered, to be sure, but today's jaunt takes us not to the valley, yea, but to the peaks overlooking the valley to the west, the Santa Cruz Mountains. The mountain people have long admired the tools the valley people are creating, and hence every week or so, a pilgrimage is made with credit card in hand to the valley, affectionately known as the pit, where we quickly procure the latest tools we need and head back to the hills from whence we came, the redwood forest we call home. What do we do with these valley tools once we bring them home to our electronic cottage? Well, we apply them in our quest to tell amazing myth-making stories. We use these tools to make sure that the stories are told so that they can be appreciated. Take the Goddess Temple, for example. Just one ridge over, about a mile as the crow flies, is a modern-day Camelot focused on the advancement of the feminine experience. My partner son and I often find ourselves assisting the goddess that holds the vision, Penny Slinger, in one artistic endeavor or another. These fraternal twin sisters were daughters of a visiting yogi pianist from Paris, Cyril Verdot, and Penny thought they would make an excellent scene in one of her digital art films. What do you think? Welcome to the temple of the goddess. A place of magical delights. <laughs> <laughs> Even closer to home, below our ridge, is the Digibarn. On November 21st, an event took place here that was a first in virtual history. Author visionary Bruce Damer and a merry band of digital pioneers created the first trade show and conference ever to be held completely in 3D cyberspace, called Avatars 98. Now there's no more need for uncomfortable hotels and less than exotic locations, except perhaps for the Digibarn, where the cost of admission is your mind. Let's let's pay attention, folks. Uh, here we go, 1998 Avatar Avi Award winners, and they're saying everyone is silent. Pin drop, and the envelope is clang. <laughs> Summer, an avatar with over a dozen moving parts and whose only clothing. Our butterflies. <laughs> if there's a if there's a world that I could come, go into and like and like be her. <laughs> What's great about the Digibarn is that you can play live music and have real outdoor fires after a hard day of staring at screens. We leave you with the tunes of mountain musicians. These were just two tales from the ancient redwood forest. A glimpse from the many sagas we've collected. Next time you're in Silicon Valley, look up into the west and think of us. Thanks for visiting. Show me the rain.